This is Jupiter Today for the 20th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. Due to some technical difficulties today, there won't be a lot of graphics. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant three, heading west. Europa starts the day behind Jupiter in quadrant one, heading east. Ganymede is in quadrant four, heading east. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant one, heading east. By six hours UTC, EO is past its western elongation and is now in quadrant four, heading east. And Ganymede is moving behind Jupiter and is moving into quadrant one, heading east the rest of the day. At 12 hours UTC, EO is in quadrant four, heading east. And by 18 hours UTC, EO has moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant one, heading east. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is in quadrant one, heading east. Europa is just past its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant two, heading west. And there are five Jupiter satellite events today. At zero hours, 49 minutes, Europa reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. At 5.50 UTC, Ganymede moves behind Jupiter. At 10.51, Ganymede reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. At 14.40, Io moves behind Jupiter. And at 17.19, Io reappears from behind the shadow of Jupiter. And there are two satellite mutual events today. The first one is part of a pair that actually took place late yesterday. And that was from 2348 to 2354 when Io occults Ganymede. It's a 6.4 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.345 magnitudes at a distance of 71.55 arc seconds from Jupiter. And that is paired with an event that takes place today at 0 hours 34 minutes to 0 hours 43 minutes. And that's when EO eclipses Ganymede. That's an 8.5 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.835. It's a nice deep drop. And it's 61.86 arc seconds from Jupiter. And EO and Ganymede are 21.54 arc seconds apart. So 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator just above the clouds, looking out to see what the sky looks like over the next 24 hours. goes Europa in front of Callisto. Ganymede just popped out of Jupiter's shadow. And there's Eo moving in front of Ganymede. And I think we'll see Eo move in front of Callisto as well. All four moons in the same sky. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. First at 401 the second at 1357 and the third at 2353 UTC. There were quite a few new images posted.
And there was some new radio data posted as well. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 13 minutes, 49.6 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 3 minutes, 57.1 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun is 164.864 degrees. The phase angle is 2.775 degrees. And that's 0 0.204 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth today is 654,600,724 kilometers. And that's 618,261 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. I think there's a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 25,760.88 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,913.8 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between the Sun and Jupiter is 798,299,170 kilometers. And that's 45,744 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,906 kilometers per hour. And that's 2.42 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. At zero hours UTC, the central meridian, CM1, 38.38 degrees, CM2, 312.36 degrees, CM3, 224.41 degrees. The time of this recording is 109 UTC on the 20th of February, 2015. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who are subscribing. You can send your comments and questions and suggestions and your images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.